but eternally damned forever. Is this American dream getting you so caught up in the American greed? Are you living a life where you're pursuing things for yourself and you tear down your barns to make bigger ones? Or are you a person who says, you know what, God, I am content where I'm at. I don't care if I never get another house, another car. I don't care if you never bring my wife. And it takes a while for you to get to a place where you say, God, all I need is you. And when you get to a place where you humble yourself, where you say, God, I am so in love with you that I don't really need anything outside of you. And yes, it's very hard. But when you get to a place where he's more than enough, then he'll say, you know what, you're ready for your wife. You're ready for that promotion because if I give it to you, I can trust you with it. God never intended for us to be dead ends. He intended for us, for us to be distribution channels. He never intended for us to, for the buck to stop here. He never intended for success to stop here. He intended for you to develop something through your life that will benefit millions as it go. Are you cultivating your land for crops that just feed you? Or are you working in this life to say, you know what? I'm doing this for others. I'm doing this for my children's children. I'm doing this for the city of Charlotte. I'm doing this for you. No greater love than this than a man lay down his life for his friends. Where, where are you laying your life down for someone else? Let's pray. Father, we just appreciate you. I pray this word grip the people's hearts. As we go into this time of poetry, we thank you, Father God, if they have any questions about anything, they'll write on the note cards, and we'll be able to answer their questions. There's people in this room who is very tough. Society has taught us to be covetous. And I pray, Father God, that we realize that, Father, if it wasn't for you down on this cross, we'll be on a never-ending spiral. And I thank you, Lord, that you saved my soul, that I'm content with the fact that if I don't get another dime in my pocket, I know that I'm rich in you, so that when I stand before you, God, and you ask me, why should I let you in your heaven? I'm going to say, God, I left it all down there for your glory. And I pray that people have this same type of passion, Father, because I do not want these people to stand before you shouting, praising, thinking they made it in, but to be faced with the harsh reality that they never did not one thing for your glory. As we transition, Father God, I pray everyone receives this word and applies it, because knowledge is nothing without, a, without wisdom. Wisdom is applied knowledge. And I thank you for this time, Father, in Jesus' name, amen.